Hi, I'm Dr. Elsie Cook, and I welcome you to another episode of On Mission with Elsie. Today, I share with you the third C in knowing the will of God, church community. In 1 Timothy 3.15, Paul instructs the young Timothy that if he is delayed, Timothy should know how people ought to conduct themselves in God's household, which is the church of the living God. And he calls the church the pillar and foundation of truth. The Spirit of God does not only reside in us individually, but he also resides in us corporately as the body of Christ. Wisdom does not only reside in us individually, but it also resides in our connection with other believers. In fact, as believers, we receive guidance through the community of faith. Jesus did two things as disciplines. First, he met alone with God. But second, he also went to the synagogue to meet with other Jewish believers. As followers of Jesus, we must follow his example. It is through the community of faith that we first learn to live out our faith and we are equipped to be witnesses of Jesus to the world. The church may not be perfect, but it is within the context of the church that we learn what it is to live in love, in grace, and what it is to walk in forgiveness. Even in an imperfect church, we find people that we can emulate. They are examples of what it is to walk in faith. I personally have benefited from having relationship with various people in the church who have helped me grow in the Lord and have helped me discern, determine what the will of God is for my life. It is also the community of faith that holds us accountable. Other disciples will see things in us that we are not aware of. They will not only see the gifts that we have, they will not only see the talents that we have, but they will also see our wrongdoing. And if we hold ourselves accountable to a body within the church, the people we hold ourselves accountable to can help us determine and discern the will of God for our lives. And since these people that we hold ourselves accountable to has our best interest in mind, they are the best people who can impart wisdom to us in times when we have to make decisions. This is why it's very, very important that you and I pursue relationships with believers within the body of Christ. We must be intentional to reach out and invest in close, trusted, and spiritual friendships within the body of Christ. Finally, in the church, God has distributed varied giftings. No one individual, no one Christian has all the gifts. The spiritual gifts is distributed to the members of the body. And you know what? There's a passage in 1 Corinthians 14.26. Paul wrote, What then shall we say, brothers and sisters, when you come together, each of you has a hymn or a word of instruction, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation. Everything must be done so that the church may be built up. When believers come together, each bring with them a piece of a puzzle of the picture of God's will. Now, this is the beauty of the church. In the church, God manifests his will through the varied spiritual gifts that he has distributed to the body of Christ. Since I became a believer in 1986, I have constant, consistently pursued being part of the community of church. Wherever the Lord brings me, I always become a functioning member of the body. I pursue relationship in the church. And because I have done that, 
since 1986. Rarely did I ever find myself in a place where I say, I don't know, I cannot discern the will of God. You know why? Because in the church, I have learned to value the first C in knowing the will of God, which is the commanding scripture. I've learned how to study the scripture. I also learned about the Holy Spirit that is resident in me. I've learned through the example of the people in the church. Within the church, I've developed very close, trusted relationship. You may be one of those who have stopped attending church. You watch YouTube and that's your church. If you want to know the will of God, you need to seriously consider being part of a community of faith. I know what a community of faith can do to you spiritually. I know what it did to me spiritually. And I know what it can do to you spiritually. Go back to church. Find a local church. Find a community of faith that you can hold yourself accountable to, where you will be encouraged to flow in the spiritual gifts, and where you will learn to walk in daily obedience to the Lord. God bless you. I will see you next week for another C, the fourth C of knowing the will of God.